What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Christian books on the channel? Well, it's true. Normally, this isn't something that I would review here, but uh, a buddy of mine actually had a hand in producing this book, and so I wanted to kind of give you a quick look at it. It's actually a big book. This book was almost 40 bucks. I actually ordered it. What you can see here is it's by a company called Thrivent, and it's called Inspiring Generosity. And the interesting thing about this book is it's stories of faith and grace in art. And so um, I'm not going to show you everything about it, but you can see here we have lots of artwork. And the reason is Thrivent is a big Christian financial services company and they have a art museum you know like a small art museum in their main office and so over the years or the hundred years of history they have they have uh, com collected quite a bit of religious related art and what they actually did here was take some of their oh religious experts I guess um, some information about the authors over here and they took this artwork and then kind of created the stories and the history around what was going on here so sharing some of the stories that are in the bible uh, related to this art and so it's kind of an it's almost an illustrated bible story in many ways now the funny thing to me about a lot of art you know some of this there's a lot of really a deep variety of the types of things here um like uh, Martin Luther King Jr. in this picture. Um, so religious art can be very different. I always kind of thought of it as like some of the Michelangelo uh, paintings and pictures and whatnot. So obviously here's a picture of like, you can see here, prodigal son returning to the father and the story here, and it kind of goes into those details. Uh, this is a, um, a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of verbiage here, but I think it, Kind of gives you some things to reflect on. Now, one of my things about religious art is that it's, you know, I don't know, I call it kind of Sunday schoolish sometimes because, you know, it is uh, not necessarily very historically accurate in some cases. A lot of this is just whatever, you know, the artist thought might things might look like. And so, you know, I, I wouldn't try to derive too much, but I think this could be a really interesting book if you wanted to, you know, really appreciate and see some of the various artwork that, you know, is out there without having to go to a museum and checking it out, but then also pairing this with uh, the stories and history uh, and lessons that you can from experts in this field that would be probably bringing up some details and nuance to you that you might not otherwise get. I will say this is a very big book. And so for... I think it was like 35 bucks plus shipping. I will say right off the bat, you're getting a lot of value because there's a lot of work, a lot of research, a lot of writing, and a lot of pictures that went into it. So that's it. Just wanted to give you a quick look at it. It's called Inspiring Generosity, Stories of Faith and Grace and Art. And um, I will put a link to the website where you can buy this if you want it. Peter Rumpand out.